let's let it evolve and um, and have it become a video game. But so here was a really cool thing, and I think it it was like an anchoring thought that we all had, which was very very nice, because then we could root our creative in this thought, which is let's always keep in mind as we're going through the pages and everybody's rewriting the script that this is a game that needs to be played. And the B-side to that is it knows it needs to be played. So much like with evolution and much like with our world, much like with dinosaurs, right? Years and years and years later, it will always find a way to be played. It was an element of danger because the truth is, you know, when you find out, well, what happens if we don't save the game and we don't lift the curse? Or what happens if we lose our lives? Then that's it. Then it's game over for life in terms of you'll never go home again. So I think when those stakes are placed in our story, it just automatically starts to raise the stakes, raise the tension. Dr. Smolder Bravestone is a world-renowned adventurer, um, fearless in many ways, and, and he's earned his, uh, his name, his first name, Smolder, because uh, he has no control of it. It's just a, a God-given gift, and God delivered, and Smolder, he signed for it, uh, which is the ability to, uh, at any moment, Smolder, I don't know what just happened. I had Jack Black in mind reading the script the whole time. Luckily, it worked out for us very well. Jack is at the same agency as I am. So my agent immediately called uh, Jack's agent and, um, and spoke to her and said, let's read it. And Jack was already familiar with it, by the way. But the idea, I don't think Jack was familiar with the idea of him playing the girl. And there was no one better. I mean, no one better. And Jack kills it. And I think his performance is brilliant. And I was in awe watching him every day on set to embody a 16-year-old girl. And for Jack Black, who's a bigger guy, who's very animated with his face, and he's, and he's globally famous, he's a gigantic star. And to be able to pull that off, I was so, I was so amazed. And there's a scene where Kevin and I have a little bit of a disagreement and I have to put him in his place. And I put him in his place physically. And I give him a little push. But because it's Smolder Bravestone, he has superpowers. Kevin goes about 30 feet, crashing into a wall. That's my favorite. Anytime I could see pain on Kevin's face, well, I'm happy. <laughs>